It's like comparing Elvis and the Beatles, Pele and Maradona, or in film, Laurence Olivier and Marlon Brando. Sometimes in sports and entertainment, historically worthy adversaries are hypothetically pitched against each other to try to determine who is the greatest of the great, dividing opinion all the way. Yeah, this is one of those times. In modern Olympic history, the juiciest argument centers around Michael Phelps, the metronomic American swimmer, and Usain Bolt, the charismatic Jamaican sprinter. And given that this is a time when the game should have been taking place in Tokyo, this feels like the perfect moment to delve into it. Bolt won three golds in each of three separate Olympics, losing one of them on a relay technicality. He made running cool again as a one-man cultural movement. He operated with style and panache and no shortage of humor. Heck, he even won a gold medal after eating chicken McNuggets as his pre-race meal. You want to try eating a bunch of chicken nuggets and going for a quick jog? Nah, me either. There's also an extra point to be made for Bolt in that track is truly international, with far more countries taking the sport seriously at elite level. And yet Phelps was dominant and imposing, a swimming superstar loved by corporate America. And during those brief windows of time when the Olympics feels like the center of the universe was one of the most recognizable men on the planet. And for Phelps, the raw facts are just staggering. He collected 23 gold medals. 23 gold medals. That's just greedy. Plus three silvers, plus two bronzes. And it's this weight of hardware that gets patriotic Americans on side. Many of them stating that greatness should be solely a numbers game. Maybe not. For me, the race for greatness is incredibly tight, but it's bold. I believe that the brilliance of the athletic achievements are largely similar. There are significant differences in how the two sports are structured, which leads to the discrepancy in the total amount of medals. Swimming has more events, a ton of them, but many require similar physiology. If they had a four by 200 meter relay on the track, do we really doubt that Bolt could have added more gold medals there too? And swimming has different strokes, running does not. If there was a 100 meter track event that required a different type of stride or an altered starting stance, would Bolt not have been the favorite there? If there was an additional 200 meter race in a straight line instead of the typical one around the curve, who would your money have been on? And Bolt was never beaten in an Olympic final and it was never really close either. He torched the field in Beijing, shattering world records in the 100 and the 200. And the nearest anyone came was when Justin Gatlin got within 0.08 of a second in Rio. So close, Justin. Yeah, so far. With Phelps, on the other hand, there are four men who know what it's like to beat him in an Olympic final. Even when Phelps racked up his magnificent eight in Beijing, one of those wins in the 100 meter fly was by one hundredth of a second. And it remains a controversial decision to this day. If that sounds like a slight to Phelps, it isn't meant that way, not even a little bit. Yeah, he was occasionally beaten and sometimes threatened, but it was rarer than desert snowfall. The tipping point for me, and maybe because I'm a sucker for this kind of thing, is that I just love the way Bolt carried himself and the magic he brought to his sport and to the Olympics. Phelps is pure class, but Bolt's personality is one of a kind. I'm also unavoidably shaped by the bias of personal experience. One of my most cherished memories is seeing my son Max watch Bolt win gold in Rio in 2016. He also got a photo with the great man a few days later. This is the kind of discussion that can send you in circles. It's as fractured as considering which was your favorite childhood pet. There's no right answer, truly. Both Bolt and Phelps were amazing. Both of them are missed. And is it even fair that we're comparing the two of them? Probably not. But consider this, they were both the ultimate competitor and never shied away from a battle. For me, it's Bolt by the narrowest of margins. I'm prepared to defend my opinion, and I know you'll have your own. Download the all-new Fox Sports app now.